we're going to go ahead and install the coolant lines. My name is Mike Kovalchuk. For past decade, I've been in the automotive alternative fuel industry, specializing in compressed natural gas. An opportunity has come in my life to expand my talents. Follow me as I get into vehicle restoration and vehicle testing. So we pre-drilled all the holes for it, so we know where they're located at, but right now we're just going to go ahead and route it. So I'm going to prepare everything I need. I'm going to set up my light. Lay it out. This is the front part. Cause that's where the exhaust goes, right here. Install our light. Position yourself so you can access the front and just, just get it started. See where we at. Okay. A bit more. Cylinder. Okay, let's see what we got. The lighting. Okay, next one. So what we'll do next. Let's place this underneath on this side of the fuel fill. I mean, fuel fill. Excuse me. The low pressure hose. Now we can put this hose in here. The fuel fill hose, high pressure hose. Excellent. So we're gonna see the length of it, we're gonna check it out, make sure it's, we're gonna trim some off, so we're gonna cut but right here. Here's the hose clamps. silicone just hold right here I'm gonna go ahead and tie it right away next we're gonna install our fill holes okay then we're gonna use stubby 13 sixteenths we're gonna tighten it and finally we're gonna connect our Bosch high pressure sensor and then our solenoid for the cylinder block off okay everything's located 
Go ahead, tighten the tank, make sure it's closed. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do is zip tile this, but I wanna make sure, go underneath again to check that everything is nicely routed. Okay, so we're underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out a little bit, like that, free it up. Nice, okay, that's good. Okay, let's go check it out one more time. Oh. And we can go ahead and use our zip tie to tighten everything. See how that looks? All right, nice. First things first, since we tightened the low pressure holes, I'm gonna put the sticker on it. There's a confirmation that it's been tightened. Okay, I'm gonna zip tight this right here. Sticker will go on the bracket. at this point of time done with the bed for our next part we're installing the coolant lines i got my coolant lines parts my tools and different bands so let's prep everything is right here excellent voila everything that we have leak on wipe it down about the cloth and look at that nice and clean install minimal of course spillage so excellent now what we have left is we're going to clamp this these two lines, cool lines against, uh, there's a stub over there, a bolt stub. As you can see right there, we're gonna clamp it against there. So, I'm gonna do it real quick. Viewers, subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness. <laughs> you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.